Alright, hey there, this is Nathan from Tech Savvy, and today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to encrypt your files using a free open source software known as TrueCrypt. So let's get started. First, what you're going to want to do is open up TrueCrypt, which I've shown how to install in another tutorial but I will put the link in the description below for the software and then once you have it installed and open what you want to do is click create volume and then over here you want to click create an encrypted file container and just click next alright so I'll basically explain briefly what each does so the first option standard true volume basically just sets a password and if you enter that you can you have access to all your files while for hidden, if you enter in one password, you'll have access to a certain set of files. And if you enter in a different password, let's say someone demands you to, um, you'll get access to another different set of files. So I'll just choose standard for this tutorial. And then just go ahead and select where you're going to locate your file. Just put it on the desktop and then give it a name. I'll just name it demonstration. and then just click next then just go ahead and click next and then now you just select how big you want the file to be so how many so the size will determine how many files you can insert into it I'll just make it uh, 750 megabytes I guess and just go ahead and click next then now enter in your password or if you're using hidden two passwords so I'll just enter in something in simple as this is only for demonstration purposes and just click next yeah remember that short passwords can be cracked using brute force techniques so you want to enter in a long password if you're doing this for safety purposes so and now you'll get here now when you move your mouse around you'll notice that the random pool changes and the more you move it around the more random it gets and the more safer, safer it is so just go ahead and move it around a lot and after that, just click Format. And it should only take a few seconds. Even for multiple gigabytes, it shouldn't take more than a few minutes. And it's just finishing the process. Okay. And then over here, just go ahead and click um, Exit. And then now you want to select a drive that you'll be mounting this on so just select O for example and then click select file then over here navigate to where you created the file so mine is on my desktop so there you go I'll open demonstration and then just click mount and enter in your password now if I go to my computer I'll see that I have a new local disk and this is actually loading my file and mounting it as a drive now let's say I put some files in like these shortcuts okay and then I dismount the drives then if I try to access it through here I won't be able to as you can't open these files within any other Windows software pieces of software and if I go to my computer I'll see that the drive has disappeared and I can only access it again if I mount it through TrueCrypt and enter in my password and if I do that I can see that my file my files are still intact inside of this file so this would be great for personal files anything that needs to be encrypted anything you want to keep safe remember to rate comment and subscribe and this is Nathan from Tech Savvy and I'm signing out and the speed it's currently